Left the ghost Building on startup heavy Niggas couldn't take the chain It's too heavy Well the mob I'm swinging that nigga. sound And style machete Now when I come through It's what up ghost My foes throwing confetti My gear is the world premiere Fox leather ox shit Now I'm digging down Have a lock there Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Today we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Terry Mugler. This one called Pure Coffee. This is the third fragrance I'm reviewing from Mugler. I reviewed Pure Malt and B Men. Uh, I still have to review Pure Shop, Pure Havan, Pure Leather, and Mugler Cologne. Still need to um, check out some of the higher end scents from the Expressions Collection. Uh, maybe get the leather one, which I think I enjoyed. Uh, I want to purchase Ultra Zest, even though prices really shot up on that one. Uh, I want to purchase that. I want to get Taste of Fragrance, and I want to get Crypto Man. Be really happy with those, and I want to try Alien Men and these Mugler Cologne Flankers that came out last year, I think. So more that I need to purchase from this line and smell. I'm always interested in their new releases, and if you want any history or backstory on this house, please check out the video that I did on Pure Malt in 2013. Long time I've been in this game, man. Um, I paid ninety dollars for my hundred ml bottle from Mugler. When I purchased this, it had been difficult to get when I started reviewing and collecting, and it popped on the Mugler site, and I had heard great things about it, so I definitely blind bought it. And you can still get it on that site for retail, but you can probably find this one now for like sixty dollars or so online. I've seen it on eBay and discounters for that price. A uh, two thousand and eight release from perfumer Jacques Huplet. Uh, who did the original Angel Man and several flankers. And notes on this one, pretty simple. You got patchouli, musk, coffee, cedar, and vetiver. Uh, as far as your presentation goes, yeah, I didn't get the box that had that looked like a coffee bag, which was, those were super dope boxes. And if I had that, I'd pull it out and show it to you, but I just got the standard box that said pure coffee. And these bottles, so the star's gold, so it's difficult to see how much juice you have left, but everything else is pretty much the same. Mine's pretty scratched up. And I did, you know, uh, do razor blade surgery at the top uh, to make the sprayer a little bit better there. So uh, standard presentation, I I'll be honest with you, I don't love this bottle. I don't like that gold star, but I think these all look really good lined up together. You have to admit that. And as far as smells on this one, how I feel about this one, yeah, I feel like this and Pure Leather for me are the closest to the original Angel Men. You know, this one has that tar, patchouli, and gourmand core you know, that gourmand accord that sort of defines angel men scent. You know, this one has a pretty big coffee note, a top roasted coffee, you know? It smells like you took the original Amen and added some roasted coffee beans to that original formula. It's musky, it's sort of dirty and animalic. It's got that tar thing going on. And then there's this roasted coffee vibe. I would have liked to have personally seen that coffee note amped up a bit. I think that's where this fragrance, at least in my eyes, sort of failed. Um, and I say failed, but I still do like this one and think it's much better than the original, but I, I would have preferred more coffee and less tar, more coffee and less patchouli, and really more incorporation of a strong, deep, rich coffee note into that Angel Man Gourmand Accord. Because uh, I feel like if you're looking for a scent like this, there's better options. Um, they're more expensive, but they're still out there. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But literally, guys, Angel Man Roasted Coffee Accord doesn't last the life of the fragrance. It's there through the top, which, let's say, lasts an hour or so. Uh, I don't know that I have a fragrance from Mugler that performs poorly, certainly within the Angel Man lineup. These are just good performers. They project. They last a good eight to nine hours, and they leave a pretty heavy sillage. So definitely, this is definitely a, a fragrance, as most of these are that are appropriate for a woman as much as a man and uh to me honestly there's nothing super masculine about the angel man lineup i feel like any woman can easily pull this off and i feel like for me this one works better um in the fall and winter and you know th those would probably be the only seasons that i would wear these you know and, and i feel like you know best way to rock these night out maybe at dinner probably best holiday party um, but yeah, I could say these definitely could be worn casually as well. Now, if you like the idea of this, looking for something similar, don't necessarily want to rock with this one. Um, the original Angel Men, uh, obviously, and to me, this fragrance perfected, and I've talked about this before, 
is uh, intoxicated by by Killian, which just has this Turkish strong pulled coffee note um, amplified at, at a 10 really throughout the life of the fragrance. And that one's got some cardamom in there as well and some cocoa, vanilla. It's, it's beautiful. And I feel like it puts this to shame, but it's also $200 plus more. So you really have to take that into consideration. There of course are other really good coffee scents out there in the wilderness. <laughs> You know, New Harlem, great coffee scent. It's got lavender, maple syrup, some other things going on. Um, Espresso Royale by Sebastian. Don't know whatever happened to, to that dude or his or that fragrance line, but great, fra great um, coffee fragrance. Intense Cafe, uh, you know, is another good one. But here, this is, you know what this is. This is Angel Men and coffee. You're gonna get what you get with this one. Um, I think if someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this one, they'd say, good gourmand fragrance, part of that Mugler collection. If you're a collector, there's no doubt you have to have this. If you're a Mugler collector, you know, you have to have this one in the lineup. This is one of the heavy hitters. You know, probably I would say this, um, Pure Haban and Pure Malt, I think are probably the three that get the most love. Um, and this is a good performing scent. This, this scent performs well. There's no way to deny that. It's gonna give you your money's worth through the duration of your wearing. But I think on the flip side, if someone's trying to talk you into skipping this one, they'd say that it's not that um, different from other Mueller scents. And there's better scents out there that sort of do this. And then, you know, where's the coffee? Where, you know, it's like the, where's the beef ad? Well, where's the coffee? Cause it's gone pretty quick for me, in my opinion. Um, it seems like I don't really like this, but I have to tell you guys, it's still a good scent. I can't deny that this is a good fragrance. Uh, this wouldn't be the first that I get from the Terry Mugler lineup. Um, and you know, if I had a small collection and was just looking for certain things, uh, I might need to decide if this is too redundant, you know, and, and maybe there's a better way for me to spend my money if I'm not looking to have multi multiple coffee scents. But I still feel like this is a seven out of 10. Um, it's just a very nice gourmand scent that's true to the original Angel Men. But um, for my money, it didn't go far enough with that coffee influence. I would have liked to have seen a stronger, longer lasting coffee presence for this scent. So guys, that is my opinion on Terry Mugler um, you know, Pure Coffee. I'd love to know your thoughts. You know, Do you like this one? Where do you rank this? Um, in the Angel Men lineup, does it give you enough coffee? Are you getting your dose, you know, enough Java uh, out of this one? Or are you looking for something more? Would you like to have seen them go a little bit further? And then I guess, what is your favorite coffee fragrance? You know, for me, it's intoxicated, um, but I'd love to know, you know, what you guys uh, enjoy as your favorite coffee fragrances. So leave a comment below. Thanks for watching as usual. I'll see you again real soon with videos, guys. That's right, nigga. 06, about to take this in the 07.